。哎。Yes。我要去做摄影展，你我来。好。Sorry。No, it's okay. You still upset about your news? She shouldn't have said those things to you. Why do you know you're God, Mai? That's the way she is. I'm used to it. Doesn't make it right. She's your God, Ma. Just let it go. Doesn't make it right. What's wrong? All the good game designer jobs require experience. I barely have any. I can't even get my foot through the door. How come you graduated from uni some time ago, right? Yeah, I did, but I never held down a job long enough for me to get any real experience. Rosalie sabotaged every job I managed to get. That's crazy. He told me crap like he cares about me too much for me to suffer through working life. And it took me a long time for me to realize that that is not being caring. That's abuse. Anyway, I just want to put all that behind me. Okay, get a job. Stand on my own two feet, no looking back. You are very strong. Do not use that word on me. Sorry. I read somewhere that abuse survivors don't like being called strong, because being abused does not make you stronger, and strength is not the only valid response to being abused. It took me a while to understand it, but I think it's finally starting to sink in for me. I'm not going to let Rosalie's abuse define me. I am not going to let him have power over me anymore. You are really okay, right, Cor? Of course, I'm more than okay. You don't act like a hero, ah. Uh. I'm telling you, ah, uh, you're not ready to go back to work, ah. Uh. But ma. No, but you're not fully recovered yet. Head injury, you know. You don't play a fool. I already told Rickson, ah. Uh, you're not going back to work yet. Then how? Every day eat and sleep. Might as well stay in the hospital. Don't talk nonsense. Anyway, Ella has moved back, and Zara is still staying with us. So nice uh, to have so many people staying with us. God, good to have another man in the house again. The owner outnumbered me. You woke up late. He had a bad night. Did Eunice cause more trouble? Let's not talk about her anymore. Why? Did she hit a sore point? I'll be going to the office today. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Where's your husband? Sleeping in, he's still on leave. Anyway, he only just finally fell asleep. Oh? Another one who had a sleepless night. What did Eunice do to the two of you? How did y'all get rid of her in the end anyway? Actually, Matthew kicked her out. Come again? That husband of yours finally did something right for once. So nice to see Zara smiling again. She's been through a lot, you know. The husband of hers are lied to her, twisted everything, turned black into white, white into black. If a friend did that to you, uh, much less your husband, already so painful. I should get going. Oh. Auntie Mei Wan, if you're not part timing at KSUH anymore, how come you don't need me in the afternoons? Zara wants to help out here. She feels bad staying with us, not paying rent. Zara is new. She'll need someone to show her the ropes. Handsome is here to help. You can go and enjoy yourself after your shift. Huh? Eunice, my dear. I understand that my son-in-law threw you out of my house last night. I really need to speak to Matthew. I mean, no matter what the provocation, no matter how some visitors overstay their welcome, he really should have controlled his temper. <laughs> Jessica, I can hardly be considered a visitor. It was my house before it ever became yours. <laughs> Daddy! Oh. Looks like James and Emily have finally set their differences aside. 
I wonder how long it will last this time. <laughs> There's no perfect marriage. I'm sure you're well aware of that from your personal experience. <laughs> well, I'm not as aware as you are, that's for sure. I can't wait to see whether this particular loveless Shelley marriage can go the distance. And I really hope that James will have better luck than his mother. Bye. Hey, spoon, spoon, spoon. Thank you. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Enjoy. Um, Debbie? Hmm? Debbie, can you take over? Uh, Kenneth wants to meet me to discuss about work. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Take your time. Take your time. Go, go, Thank go. you. How can you say such things to her? You really upset her. She's been picking on you since she came into this family. You know she's like that. So, so I should just leave her be? Let her attack my wife? She's trying to help you. With your in-laws, with, with Jessica. Dan, she's just trying to help herself. All she cares about is the Shelley internal power struggle. She's just worried that Yoke will somehow take over and leave James with nothing. You think she'd come over and sabo Yoke and sabo your marriage? Won't be the first time. Matthew. So that's what you think of me? Eunice, you are early. I was trying to knock some sense into Matthew first. And please don't take things out of context. I'm perfectly aware of the context. You think I'm trying to sabotage your marriage for selfish reasons? He didn't exactly say that. I said it, and I was trying to be sarcastic. Yes, that's exactly what I think. You want to sabotage you because she's a threat to you. God, Ma, can you really deny all you care about is power and the Shelley holdings? In that order, everything else, even your son, comes second. And you will destroy everyone just to get what you want. When are you going to look for a proper job? My, you want to hire me, is it? You don't even know how to drill a hole, how to hire you. Seriously, you're not going to look for a full-time job? The cost of living now is so high, you can die, man. I won't make it rich, but I won't starve. You want to do sales? I have a client that has a chain of boutiques. Always looking for people. I can introduce you to her. Hey, Debbie, I have already washed all your bowls and food. Take care of your tire. OK, thanks. See? He's not a boss. Where to find? Why would I want to leave? Is that you and Eunice? <laughs> James Swift birthday. Never seen you two look so happy. We were very convincing, weren't we? That's all for show. We were never in love. We married for a common purpose. A rich father wanted a successor, and I wanted to be rich. And what did Eunice want? She wanted her father's business, but he was never going to give it to her daughter. So all three of us got what we wanted. With no love lost between anyone. Sounds like a classic Shirley marriage. It's not all that bad. Out of all my marriages, this was the one union of equals. We were a great team. She was the best business partner I could ever ask for. We were completely in sync. At least I thought so. What do you mean? I never cared much for children then. We already had James. The heir. That was enough. Then when she told me about the miscarriage, I just figured no big deal. We'll have another one. I assume she felt the same way. After all, we were always in sync. But it was only last night I realized how devastating losing that baby was for her. I never realized. Would you have done anything differently if you had known? <laughs> Probably not. I was a selfish scumbag. Still am. What surprised me though was her coming over here. She came over just to wind you and Jessica up, right? It's the usual, right? No. It didn't seem to be just that. Then what else could it be? I know Eunice very well. 
Maybe it's old age or estrangement with James. Whatever it is, she has a soft spot for Matthew. She came here last night to defend him against us Shelley in laws. Defend Matthew? Why? She knows how difficult it is to be married to Shelley and having your mother as a mother in law. She looked really upset when Matthew asked her to leave. Whatever he said to her yesterday must have really wounded her. Seriously, Ella slept, Jeffrey. When was this? A couple of weeks ago, in front of everyone. No wonder she's leaving. Oh, well, Jeffrey is a member of the board, so. It's okay. I heard about it also. Auntie, this Jeffrey, he, he must have said or done something really nasty to Ella. Because Ella does not strike me as someone who would just go around slapping people for no good reason. Well, we don't know exactly what happened. Maybe you might want to ask Ella? Better not. Uh. She might snap at me again. Anyway, I'm glad she's leaving this place. What is it? James needs you to sign this. I'll sign it later. He says it's urgent. So when is your last day? Sign here and here. Look, whatever it is, let's just keep out of each other's way. Gladly. Debbie! Your shift is over. Why are you still here? I'm leaving soon, after I wash the bowls. Ayah, no need. Just leave it. I will do it. Auntie Mewa, you just knock off from KSUH. You must be tired. You go and rest. I won't pay you OT, ah. No need. I have sent you the minutes for this morning's meeting and moved tonight's concourse to tomorrow morning, as you requested. Thank you, Ella. I'll prepare the meeting room. Why did you slap Jeffrey? I just felt like it. <laughs> Fine. Is that the only reason you're leaving? Or is it also because of Yoke? What has my resignation got to do with her? Well, you wanted the job here when Yoke was engaged to Shen. Now they're no longer engaged, you're, you're just leaving? Ella, if you're leaving KSUH because you want a fresh start, you have my full support. But if you're running away or you're doing this to hurt Yoke, I can't just see you just hurting yourself too? I'm not your sister anymore. And soon I won't be your employee, so it's none of your business what I do. Did you do it? Did you come here to befriend you to break her and shut up? Yes. I knew it. You're not upset. You did me a favor by breaking them up. I didn't do it for you. It doesn't matter. But it doesn't look like you benefited from it. In fact, you look worse off. I mean, Shen hasn't accepted you, and you've lost Yo as a friend, which is exactly what I wanted because I loathe at the idea of the two of you being friends. And now, you're leaving KSUH. It's perfect. I mean, I couldn't have planned it better myself. But I didn't, did I? You did this all to yourself. Thank you, Ella. I always knew you were self-destructive. Don't be so smart. I could always tell everyone about your sugar baby business. How you do innocent girls like Belle. Oh, please. Those girls like you are far from innocent. For money, you are willing to go on dates with men. And sometimes even more. That's not true. Do you really think anyone is going to believe you with your track record? I hardly think so. Ella. Quit while you're ahead. Then maybe you'll have a chance at a decent life. Goodbye. Yeah. 
so maybe you should talk to Louis if you feel strong enough. Someone told me today that some survivors of abuse don't like being called strong. Abuse doesn't make you stronger and being strong isn't the only response to abuse. You're right. The important thing is healing, that you're healing. You need to do whatever helps you with that, okay? Remember, it's not your fault. So don't blame yourself. It's not my fault. I am who I am. I am not Shen. You caused all this trouble because you believe what you wanted to. You instigated the breakup. This was what Shen wanted all along. He wanted you to be with Matthew. Look, whatever it is, let's just keep out of each other's way. Hi, Ella. Chen, hi. I heard you quit your job. Are you okay? I'm more than okay. Just need to get away from the toxic shellies, you know? That's good. I'm happy for you. I need to go. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ella? Ella? What's wrong? Why are you still here? I thought you said you're going to leave after you wash the bowls. Auntie, are you trying to chase me out? Chased you out? Actually, yes. Why? I purposely asked Zara to take the afternoon shift so that you can have a break. But instead, you spend the whole day here. Zara's new. It's better that I'm around in case she needs help. She can ask handsome. Hiya, stop wasting your time here. I've got nothing else to do. Why don't you use your free time to go and take up some courses? Hmm, courses? Oh, I don't like to study. Courses like cooking, or maybe you can learn to make Atta's coffee like handsome? Hmm. See how. It's all my fault. I deserve every horrible thing that happened to me. No, it's not, Ella. It's never your fault if someone sexually harassed you. It's not about that. Oh. Something else? I hurt everyone around me. People who care about me. Do you want to talk about it? There's this guy that liked me. But the one that I like is... is his brother. His brother had a fiancé. So I got close to him and manipulated him so I could get close to his brother. I got close to his fiancé too. I manipulated all of them and broke up their engagement. And I broke his heart when I told him that he wasn't the one that I loved. I'm so ashamed of myself. Well, at least you know what you did was wrong. That's a step in the right direction. I don't know how to make amends. Maybe you can. I mean... They might not be ready to forgive you. What am I supposed to do, Zara? Well, they say time heals all wounds. But I'll admit, I'm not even sure I buy into that. It's gonna take a long time, possibly even centuries, before I get over what. Masari did to me. But, you know, it's a step that we need to take to go in the right direction. And that is? Being a better person. Appreciating the people we still have by our side. The ones who haven't given up on us. Hey, um, shall we arrange for your dad and Eunice to come over for dinner? Maybe next week or something? Maybe not. Are you still upset with Eunice? 
I'm sure she's still upset with me. Yeah, but she's your god ma. I really think you should try and talk. Can we talk about this another day? Good night, Yoke. Good night. Hey, it's okay. I can do it. It's okay. I want to help. Uh, Ella, I know you don't like to work here, but it's only for now. Very soon, you'll find the perfect job with aircon and wear nice dresses with very nice people. Very soon, I'm sure you'll find a job that you like, okay? I know you also don't like to stay with us. You like your own privacy. You can do whatever you want. I promise I won't nag at you or bother you. I'll go and ask around, help you find a nice, safe place, okay? It's okay, no need. I know it's hard for you being a Shelly for 23 years. How can six years be enough time for you to adapt? Your whole life has changed. Move from big house to small flat, everything's different. Brother's different, mother also different. So much to adjust to. I don't want you to give yourself pressure, okay? <clears throat> Just be yourself. I want you to be happy. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why are you so nice to me? Hiya, what sort of question is that? You forgot who I am. Ah. I'm your mother. If I'm not good to you, ah, who's going to be good to you? I've never liked his looking back at me. Cause ever since I think Eunice might be at Adina's. We can go somewhere else. I was thinking over breakfast, the two of you can talk it out. I'm not apologizing. Just talk to her. No, I meant what I said. She can't just assume she's right all the time and treat people like that. You know what? Let's go to Adina's. Well, what are you up to? You're going to stand up to her. Tell her you're not going to let her talk to you that way anymore. She doesn't bother me. I'm used to it. You shouldn't let it get in the way of your relationship with Eunice. I'm not going back on what I said. 